Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, please smash that like button, please do subscribe. I've just come back from taking Max for a walk. Alexa, what's the time please? The time is 8.13pm. Right guys, I uploaded a video this morning talking about the bullying I received from Pies Eye Goats. It was 2019, he was going into Brian Harvey's chat room and um, he started harassing me because I sent him a Christmas card. I actually felt sorry for the guy and I sent him a Christmas card and he called me names and he was very very rude to me with no need to and he said that he believed I was involved with MI5 along with Brian Harvey. Why is I goat said that Brian Harvey was doing things to him including messing with his car right I said to Pies I go, I don't even know Brian Harvey. I've never met him. Pies I go didn't believe me and I have never met Brian Harvey in my life. Never. The I listened to Stay, you know, that's a well known Christmas song that E seventeen made. I like all of E seventeen. All the bands, not just Brian, I listen, I like the whole group as a group. And um, I was living with my husband, um, I think it was the 90s. And the, my husband and I were living in Gloucestershire. And a woman called Barbara invited me and, uh, me and my husband to a wedding reception and me and my husband we were dancing together because I was married once believe it or not we were dancing together and we were eating the nibbles and on the screen came up stay with E17 in their white hooded coat right so I remember E17 and that's what I, I used to love that song it's a, a famous song but I think Tony Mortimer wrote it and he gets the royalties from that song because he actually wrote it um although I'm not a member anymore of Brian Harvey I don't I don't um I'm not subscribed to his channel I had a lot of grief when I went in there um so i stopped going in there and i'm not saying brian harvey's got anything to do it with it i'm not saying anything like that at all but i went in there and i got bullied by people so i stay out of it i don't go in there i am a woman um i was married once i've just told you i lived in gloucestershire me and my husband were dancing at this wedding reception. A stay was playing on the screen. They, in fact, knocked on our door and asked us to come over. And my, my ex-husband was reluctant to do so, but I persuaded him to go. Because, I, I, you know, I like, I like to be sociable. Um, that's how I first heard about the song Stay. Right? I got bullied from 2019 onwards because I went into a Brian Harvey chat room, was watching his videos, subscribed to his channel, and um, Pies I Go started bullying me. So I came out of it because there was a thing in 19, 2019 and 20 where Pies I Go and Brian Harvey were at loggerheads with each other. Um, I have nothing to do with what Pi Zygo had been talking about. I don't even know what MI5 is, to be fair. I don't. I've had bad experiences with the police. I've never been involved with the police. I wouldn't be a police officer. It's a nasty job. 
you put your life on the line if you're a police officer. I wouldn't want to work with the police, right? So, coming on to today, I uploaded a video talking about high zygote because I feel I'm still being bullied from afar. And Pais Iago even went to the length to say that he knew people in Great Britain. He knew people in this country, right? He knew people in this country. So I told you, I went to the police. I reported it. Um, nothing was done. Pais Iago disappeared off of YouTube. He, he, he maintains... That, um, that I'm involved in something that I, that I never have been. I'm just a, a housewife. I was a housewife, a mum, a daughter. I've never, ever worked for the police. And I got, got caught up in this shit that was nothing to do with me. I was just a fan following Brian Harvey and I had an interest in E17 because I grew up with them, right? So coming on to this evening, right, because I followed Brian Harvey, I get a notification to my channel that Brian Harvey has uploaded a video. Now it first says, BHTV will be live on Just B TV. Trust me, you do not want to miss this, okay? So I clicked on it and Brian Harvey is talking around the time that I take Max out for a walk. He's talking and he's done it a couple of times. At the time I've, I've needed to go out, Brian Har I've been notified that Brian Harvey has uploaded a video. So I thought, well, I'm not going to stay and watch it. He said it was going to be on around 7 and that's when I take Max out for a walk. I thought, well, I haven't got time to watch it. I've got to walk the dog. So I went outside in the pitch black, right? And I, I'm, you know, I've, I get a lot of stick. I get a lot of trouble. And I'm getting some funny people following me on TikTok. And I'm a mum. I was a wife. I'm a mother, obviously a mum, a mother, a daughter. I'm not a bloke. I've got strange men following me behind my back when I'm going out for a walk this morning. So this is concerning me as to who is bullying me and having me followed about, why I'm being called a man with a wig on and all this kind of shit. I don't know what the fuck is going on. So... I come back for a walk, it, it's, I don't feel safe, no, I feel someone is victimising me, bullying me, and maybe trying to blackmail me for photographs, I know they've got a photograph from Lansdowne Court, and they're quite welcome to show the world, and that will prove that I'm a woman anyway, so fucking do that, don't blackmail me, right, so, it's still on now at 8.22. Sting operation on Andrew David Mellon. I make no bones about it. I've got a son called Andrew. A son called Andrew. I've got two sons. Well, I've got three sons. So my son Andrew is in his 20s. I'm 55, I'm Andrew's mum. So a sting operation on Andrew David Mellon, ex-advisor, which is still going on now. Let's click on it. Brian Harvey is doing a live stream and he looks very well. I mean, he's done videos where he's been crying his eyes out and talking about... A BAM member being raped. He looks extremely well right now. So he, he's, he's looked all crying. He's been crying, looking a mess. And now all of a sudden he looks really, really well. Uh, 
uh, his girlfriend's in the background and, and they're all happy uh, uh, and Brian Harvey looks really really well he's been doing videos where he's been all like all upset and crying and saying how poor he is and he did a video the other day saying that people have been sending him heaters Rizzlers and He's also said he's been spending £45 a, a day on Uber Eats because his clarion haven't fixed his kitchen. I must say, Brian looks extremely well compared to the video he did when he was crying his eyes out. Right, he's, he's suddenly had a dramatic recovery. And that's good. That's a good thing. Because I was beginning to get concerned. He looked ill. He looked very Ill, Ill. And I watched the the interview he did with Stella Creasy. I watched that. His local MP Walthamstow is Stella Creasy. I watched that. Um. So. Right. So. Trying to get into my YouTube. So it's stuck. It's stuck. This is my other phone. So basically, this singing operation is, is, is somehow got Princess Diana involved in it. The, the female that's interviewing this, Andrew David Mellon, is talking about Princess Diana. Um, this guy worked for the royal family, apparently, and he was talking to a 15-year-old boy. So, I mean, you can get, you know, how do you know someone's a paedophile? How do you know? Is that the royal family's fault? Is it? I, I'm not defending the royal family, but I'm just saying there could there could be a paedophile anywhere. You cut, you know, it, it's the paedophile's fault, isn't it? It's the pedo himself. It's not the royal family's fault, is it? Maybe who interviewed this guy for the job? But how do you know someone's a paedophile? How, how do you know? There could be one walking down the street. There could be one anywhere. Right? So, Ryan Harvey's been sent this video today. He's been sent this video by somebody today. It's talking all about the royal family um, in there. Apparently this guy's got pictures of Princess Diana on the wall and royal ornaments and whatnot. Why can't people leave Princess Diana alone? She has been dead for nine for since 1997. I know that I, I watched a Saturday night um, dinner episode saying that Princess Diana was a pedo, right? I felt disgusted and I turned it off. I didn't want to watch it, right? I also want to talk about in another video how I was homeless in London, pregnant. And I'm going to do a video about that. We're also going to talk about being involved in the KICC church which is mainly dominated by black people, which my son introduced me to in 2016, I think. And um, I used to go to church a lot. And one of these churches is based in Ho Street, H-O-E, Ho Street, Walthamstow. So, Ho Street, Walthamstow, London. Well, any 
everybody says, right, trying to involve Princess Diana in shit like that, I don't believe it. How do you not know that's staged? I welcome everybody to tune in to uh, Just Be TV and watch that video and make your own minds up. I wish people would stop trying to drag Princess Diana's name into filth. Now I'm going to watch Big Brother. I don't know if it started yet. It's, yeah, Sting Operation on Andrew David Menning, ex-advisor to the Prince of Wales. Apparently a Mike Roberts sent it to Brian Harvey. So a Mike Roberts sent this to Brian Harvey. It's going on now. I walked out of my flat. I didn't watch it. I came back. The live stream was on. Um, I, I don't know what to say. There's paedophiles everywhere. There is. Right? Um, but I think this is a bit disgusting, dragging Di Princess Diana into it. I think it's awful. And what is this going to accomplish? What's this accomplishing? What's it accomplishing, dragging... Diana's name in the dirt. I think it's disgusting. I'm not saying Brian Harvey's channel is disgusting. What I'm saying is whoever sent that video to Brian is obviously stirring up shit and dragging Princess Diana's name in the dirt. That's what I think. I'm also concerned about um, certain people that are uh, subscribing to my TikTok under the name of Pedro. Uh, we have a Harvey joined my uh, TikTok. Harvey Corin saying hello beautiful woman. Harvey Corin. Um, and all this trying to make out I'm a bloke. Why the fucking hell would you think I'm a man? And if someone is spreading evil, vicious rumours, I think it's sick in the head. And I think that sometimes, you know, if you stir up shit and someone's got a lot of followers that believe this shit, you can do an innocent person serious harm. And that is what happened to me in 2019. Uh... I go, said that I was involved with MI5. I don't even know what it is. So what the fuck is going on? What, why now? I have, I'm hiding nothing. I'm totally genuine. I'm honest. I am a woman. And I always have been. And if someone's got something they want to discuss with me, I'm quite willing to talk to them face to face you don't need to black mail someone and i know someone's got photos and i said show them and then you can see that i'm a woman no one blackmails me <laughs> so it'll come back on you this used to happen at lansdowne court i'd got i'd i'd be in a Brian Harvey live stream. I'd be in the chat room trying to support Brian Harvey and then I would get attacked verbally down Chatham High Street afterwards. Or dogs would jump on me. So are we continuing this rubbish or is someone going to tell me what's going on and then we can stop it? See you later.